Hey guys, recording this today on Veterans Day because I broadcast late and I may even be pushing out this video later than usual. Uh, you won't be seeing it on Veterans Day most likely, um, but uh, nonetheless, um, just want to say thank you to all the other veterans out there. Um, I was in the Air Force uh, years ago and uh, so I know a little bit alike of what it was like. Um, and uh, today is going to be a shave to kind of honor those who've gone before us. And uh, one of the reasons that I got started shaving with cold water, with cool water, was just to remember those guys who've gone before me. There were guys on the battlefield shaving. And do you think they had warm water? Most of the time, I would guess not. And uh, I mean, sure, maybe they had a campfire going. They may have been able to, you know, warm it there, but... I think in many cases they didn't, and and I've grown to just enjoy it, but that's one of the reasons I started that uh, kind of um, technique or tradition. Now, inside my tub of Castle Forbes uh, lime shaving cream, I have Williams mug soap shredded up, and then it was soaked in Stetson aftershave for a long time. And then I eventually worked all the alcohol out of it. And so now we have a nice Stetson scented soap with the performance quality of a Williams mug soap, which is amazing when you work the lather well enough. And I chose Williams because I, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to choose something that was um, uh, something that our past servicemen would have uh, had access to. And so I chose the vintage Gillette Tech that has been no doubt used by servicemen uh, just for, for decades and decades. And Williams, of course, being a very old soap that has just been a great performer for so long, I chose that as well. Now I'm continuing on with my Nasset blade, and so I did uh, bring that one into play. And I don't really know what other blade I might have used. I guess if I had some vintage blades around, I could try that. Um... 346 uses is what we have prior to today's shave. And uh, uh, going with along of a kind of modesty and uh, uh, rudimentary shaving equipment, basic stuff that you're, you know, any service member is going to be able to have. Just going with a very inexpensive bore brush. Um, this looks like a Samogue, and it's got the Excelsior logo that many Samogue brushes have, but the uh, the box didn't say Samogue, and it just, it, I don't really know exactly what it is. Um, the description um, said like Ref 210 or something like that on the box. Um, I don't know. So I've just used it maybe even once or twice, and so it's, it's a very young bore, but I've had it soaking for actually several hours because I thought I was going to shave a little earlier today than I am. So we're just going to remember and honor those who've gone before us that have chosen to uh, put aside their families, put aside their wants and needs and hobbies and things like that to, uh, to put themselves in harm's way, or even if they weren't in harm's way, to commit themselves to something um, to and, and work at it uh, for a time to help their country and to help their um, the loved ones back home and uh, and so that's that's what we're going to do today so let me get the blade in the razor and <laughs> this uh, I may be commiserating with my uh, this may be identifying with my fellow servicemen of yore in a way in a very uncomfortable way I'm I'm sure there are times when they would shave and would not have access to a wonderful supply of blades. And so they may have had to put more uses on a blade than they really should have. And so putting this old Nasset into a, a mild razor like the Tech, this is a post-war Tech, and you can identify it by um, these. You see these two slots up here, and there are, of course, two more on the other side. They are complete ovals, kind of a capsule shape, and they're long. Um, the ones for the pre-war techs had a little point. The opening was, the top part was flat here, but the opening down here came to a kind of a triangle. So we call those triangle slotted techs. And those are the, uh, 
those are the pre-war texts. So this is a post-war. The it does have those same little four posts in the corners that make for perfect blade alignment, so that's handy. All right, now I did not pre-soak the Williams. Normally I do. I've got some pretty good Williams techniques online already. Let's treat it kind of like a normal soap and just make sure we work it for long enough and just see what we end up with. Man, the uh, I used two bottles of Stetson to to make this, and it is it shows because it is very aromatic, um, even with just uncapping the soap. So we're going to come at it with this brush doesn't hold a lot of water, and let's do like a forty five second load just for for grins. We'll start at fifty. So we'll go to 35 on the next minute. Many times I like to pre-soak the Williams Puck. And indeed Williams is a soap that you'll get better performance of the more you use it consecutively. Because, or ease of loading will increase the more you use it because it retains some of that moisture. And then it becomes easier to load the next day. And I may never have gotten, I mean, I may have, it may have been uh, pretty elusive to try to chase down almost there and there. That is 45 seconds of loading and we've got a, a nice little kind of early lather right here. Let's just see what happens, right? And so we will uh, work that in the bowl for just a second. If you pre-soak it, you don't have to load for as long. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for a second while I get my face wet. This shave might be <clears throat> rough because I'm using a mild razor with such an old blade, a, a many use blade, but it's going to be extra tuggy because I'm working off of a day and a half of <laughs> growth. So this may be a, this may be a, a an effort in uh, self-discipline. Now this is not how my Williams lathers usually go because I uh, usually come at them with kind of a soaked puck. So who knows, I may discover some new technique. Because it sure does look like most other you know, lathers at this point. A lot of times in the beginning when you start working with Williams, it's very bubbly and airy. And what you have to do is make sure you don't use that lather. You've got to keep working it. you got to keep adding water. you got to keep mixing. Now the lather has two teaspoons in it. Stetson Cologne is, uh, the aftershave is a little heavy for me. But as a, as a soap, I really enjoy it. As, a, as an aroma to have it around me when I'm shaving, I really like it. Well, this Williams right here is behaving like a normal, normal soap. Some people feel like they have to add glycerin to Williams to get it to a good lather, but I'll tell you what guys, I have taken it and gotten crazy snot slick lathers from it without any hint of glycerin, so it's definitely not needed. You might choose to use it to speed things up, and I can see that.
That's four teaspoons now that's in the lather. Now this brush is likely to not treat the lather all that well. Since it's a new little young boar, I might have to dip back into the lather more frequently than I might usually. It's looking really good, guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's go ahead and use it, see what happens. I don't know if it's too dry or, or what. I don't think it's too wet. Let's just see what happens. Of excess here. Feels good on my face. So much extra. It's flying off. If you have problems with the Williams dissipating, which is a common complaint, you didn't load enough soap, or you didn't uh, add enough water, or you just didn't mix for long enough, I've almost never had Williams to dissipate. Look at that lather. That's slick. So now we'll just kind of smooth out the lather, do the shave. Kind of expecting some tugginess to the second degree. It's not bad. Oh, they could use some more water. Wow, you know, that's I'm kind of surprised. It's not bad. Just a little tuggy. I mean, the tech is one thing it's really good for. Mild shaves, but also it holds the blade pretty well. So you don't get a lot of audio. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, maybe my cream just is a little on the thick side, and so that's helping to dampen things. I'm not real sure, but, you know, and if you think maybe your, your lather is a little too intense, it needs some more water, a great test is when you go to do the rinse. When you put that water on, does it get real slick and then rinse off pretty easy? Does it get real slick and then feels like you could just shave again because of all the slickness? Does it 
just amplify and, and feel like, wow, there's just so much on my face, you know, how quickly do you get to a rinse state? So that's something you can use to tell sometimes. And no, it, uh, it didn't come alive with lather or a slick feeling, so we might be in a really good place with this lather. I'll tell you what, a lot of people who try Williams and like to like to diss on it. This shave might be very enlightening to them because it wasn't really all that difficult. It's kind of a just a normal I just loaded a little bit more than usual because it's a hard soap that's been maybe a year since I used it. talk about this very razor as being very mild and, and while that is true it does have a little bit of feel to it and so I think it's a great razor to start out on and even a great razor just to, to use for decades as your main razor if you want plenty of guys have, have done that I mean, it's, it's, it's been such a popular razor. Gillette had it going for so many years just because it just works so well. There we go. Rinse. All right. Plenty of lather to do the job here. How about that? Just kind of treated it like a Normal hard soap, give it a little bit longer of a load. Maybe it just doesn't need to be bloomed or something. I don't know. How about that? A couple years ago, I did a whole month of Williams. Tried all the different combinations that I could think about. But I don't really think I got something this easy <laughs> man I think because I was always blooming the puck <clears throat> and this tech is doing fine guys I have to put it in my rotation with the NASA For Veterans Day, I got to sleep in, and that was much needed. There we go. I think that might be the third pass. Oh, and see, that is just slick. Face feels great. Slippery. And a great shave. Close shave. Uh, comfy. <clears throat> I am just befuddled as to how this all went down. I'm gonna have to try my other tech with my <laughs> with my NASA. Indeed, this might be a good test. Some people say they can't tell the difference between the triangle techs, the uh, which are the pre-war techs versus the post-war. And uh, if I can put this old blade in it, and I didn't flip it over, so it's the same orientation it's been. Um, in many cases I've had to move up to more aggressive razors, more aggressive settings or heads as the Nasset has aged. But here we're stepping back to a mild razor and getting a nice shave, a close one too, comfortable and nice, uh, comfortable and close. So just didn't see that coming. And I think in many cases, uh, servicemen who were in harm's way 
don't have time to tote around an aftershave, so today we'll do without an aftershave to honor them and remember the, um, just kind of be a token as we remember the sacrifices they have uh, made for us. And even if you uh, went and served, and then you, you didn't serve during wartime or you weren't deployed, you know, you were a crucial piece of, uh, of the whole process and, and just want to make sure you are honored as well because you're, you're needed, even if maybe you didn't feel like it sometimes. So um, for those of you who have dads or granddads or your own selves who serve this, uh, you're, I really appreciate you. I appreciate the sacrifice. And indeed, those with dads um, who had to serve and were gone for long periods, that's a, that's a tough thing. And so you had to sacrifice as well. Um, and, and just wanted to say thank you for giving up your, uh, your family members for a while there. And of course, we're uh, honoring those uh, lady service members as well. They may not necessarily be shaving their faces, but, uh, but they were sacrificing uh, just as well, just as much um, and just as often as, as the guys do. And uh, I served with uh, women where I was, and they did, you know, they did just as fine as guys uh, taking care of business and doing what needs to be done. And in some cases, they did a they did a better job. There were some uh, uh, parts of the job that they were especially suited for that that maybe guys had to work a little harder at, um, and then you know vice versa. But they uh, the the lady soldiers and the lady airmen and all those other words are appreciated as well. Um, thank you, thank you very much. All right, guys, um, you take care. This is uh, Sugar Daddy Shaves. On Veterans Day. I uh, appreciate the freedom that I have and I hope you do as well. Take care.